going to call to order the Public Video Service Board of Madison, Hanover, and Jefferson County. Uh, what we will do, and we have some new members here tonight, uh, people that are here, uh, we go around the table, just say who we are towards the camera so that there's a record of it. Plus, that way we can go back and do the notes later on, <laughs> which I wrote all the notes. So it's real fun to do that uh, since we didn't have a person do that currently. So we just go around and, you know, say, like, I'll start off. I'm Larry Henry. I'm a county appointment. I'm currently the uh, president. That one. Denise Buxton, Hanover Town Council. I'm Twana Thomas, representing the city of Madison. Aaron Wood, Acting Station Manager, Madison, Madison TV 15, and Videographer, Madison TV 15. I'm Jan Vatrus, um, City of Madison. I'm Peter Woodburns. I was appointed by the county. Debbie Crawford, I'm with Kentucky Anna News and Virginia Gap Productions. We provide you all production. I'm Gina Freeman, I'm with the city. Kenny Garrett, Hanover Town Council. Mark Hamon, Madison Courier. Okay. <laughs> Well, uh, I would say we approve a little bit of the agenda right now. Uh, it may change as we go along a little bit according to what we're getting into this evening. Uh, I think I've given everybody a copy of the agenda. <coughs> uh, do I have uh, a motion to approve? I'll so make that motion. Do, is there a second? I'll second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Well, our, our first item uh, tonight is our uh, station manager situation uh, that we have going on uh, currently right now. Uh, he's in the uh, hospital being attended to, and uh, we're crossing our fingers that everything comes out. We don't really want to get into too much that's being recorded or anything on that to keep his privacy. Of, uh, of his situation, but it is, we've been monitoring, Aaron's been wa monitoring it, and Mike, one of our people here, also has been back and forth a lot on it. And we're just, you know, crossing our fingers and hoping for the best uh, for him. And sometimes things uh, do work out, and let's, let's hope they do. And then with the situation we've got, Aaron has filled in. He's been with us, what was it, how many years? 15, 15 years. 15 years. He's been right along with him. And he is, uh, I actually had him go ahead and handle things because he knew what to do to keep us on the air uh, during that point in time. And there were some things, uh, some of our equipment came back that needed to be, and then to run the through over here in the clerk's office to get that paid so we could get it. Uh, that's one of the things too, if you haven't read the ordinance, all of our uh, work like that actually winds up going being approved by the Board of Works. Mm -hmm. goes through there. Mm -hmm. Board of Works and goes through over here. So um, he's done. I think I gave you uh, some of the stuff that, that Aaron wrote. And Aaron, you probably can very quickly uh, maybe tell everyone what you've been doing. Um, mainly uh, keeping things, uh, I know that Dennis had a, a little bit of a backlog uh, with the time that he was out of the office, which was close to an entire week, a uh, week before last, and uh, he had a lot of backlog and everything on meetings that weren't edited, that weren't put on our, our, our website, and uh, of course social media and the channel itself. Um, made sure that everything was uh, produced, edited, edited down, uh, bills were taken care of, employees made sure that payroll was taken care of so everyone's paid and, and taken care of there. So, um, uh, Any bills that came in, all that stuff, we've, has already been, yeah, we've already paid that. We had one more that came in today and all that stuff that I'll be taking care of possibly tomorrow. So. Um, also, our uh, Lightronics, that, uh, uh, the uh, hard drive system that we have for our Lightronics was pretty much the brains of everything. This is what keeps the memory, keeps the broadcast going and everything else, and also communicates a little bit better with the software, uh, as opposed to the actual Nexus system, which is, uh, which is its own standalone system as well that communicates with our peg vault up here for live broadcasts. Um, I will be in the process of installing that, uh, possibly 
I'm hoping at least by Wednesday, possibly Thursday, and then start the process with uh, Lightronics. Uh, I actually brought a hard copy version, which we have a digital copy version. It took me close <laughs> to about three hours <laughs> to find the digital version of it because uh, Lightronics no longer supports nor carries the Ultra Nexus SD. And Dennis actually spoke about that during the last meeting. I looked back through the minutes, and of course I was in attendance during this meeting. And uh, him and I spoke brief briefly back and forth on that. Uh, so we do. We will need the possibility someday of going to high definition. I have spoken to a couple other pu public access channels, and they have actually gone to high definition themselves as well. Um, they've uh, a couple of them have actually gone to a little bit cheaper option. One was called a Nexus Blade high definition, and they they were able to do it at a little bit lower cost and everything. Uh, I did a little. I've done a little bit of research that uh, actually just today, and uh, I'm I'm looking into it as well too. So on there. Um, hopefully continuing that and everything for Dennis and everything getting a little bit of a push because even though we've got the repair back from Lightronics with it uh, with the other system not being supported by Lightronics anymore the neck ultra neck or uh, the ultra nexus system we still need to look at going high definition at some point and everything that way we're at least still out of the curve do you have an idea of what it would cost um, I will get that information for the okay. next meeting and have print off and some type of documentation for you on the next one. About twenty thousand because we got. Uh, it was actually less than that. Yeah. Uh, because we went through a community foundation grant because right. it was total total amount of money that we had for complete upgrades because it has to do had to do with the actual physical station upgrade and everything down there interior and some structural issues that we had, but I think uh, I think the Ultra Nexus system was close to eleven thousand dollars if I remember correctly. It was close to 11 to 12, and I think that the peg vault was around $7,000. Don't quote me direct on that, but I'll, I'll, I'll have okay. to look back okay. on it and make sure. Um, I'm surprised we're not at high definition. I've been I've been pushing for that <laughs> a long time. I, I I made my I made my fight when we went to high, when we finally went digital and everything. So I got I got my way on that one. So um, we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, but everything else seems to be running smoothly. Uh, I've been making all the uploads and everything to the Vimeo page. Uh, I know that uh, Larry sent out an email with uh, Dennis's contract, and it does stipulate in there that we, uh, if we're not actually broadcasting on the channel itself, even though there is a broadcast going on, um, I do have access to the slides, so I, I will be able to make updates to those. Okay. When I finally get to it, uh, I'll make the updates and everything to these slides that are on rotation. Um, that's on a whole separate computer system, so I'll be able to access on that here soon. Um, but uh, oh, I get, get a little ahead of myself. Um, but we ha I, it, it was dictated in his contract that we have some form of upload, whether it be through the social media for the station or uh, through our web-based system, which we do have the website and everything has been updated on there, so the public does have their access to our uh, to the content. Um, as far as viewership, we've we've had we had just a, a small jump and everything. Uh, the uh, police merit board meeting and all that stuff. I think the last time I checked, we had just we had around 50 views or just a hair over 50 views on that. So um, at least people are watching it. So um, I've been trying to upload those right after it happened. Actually, uh, police merit board. I had that up within probably about less than four minutes after it was over. So, oh, yeah, I'm sure that was a <laughs> I, um, my operational side of things is a little bit different when it comes to Dennis. I like to pre-make things and have things done ahead of time, and that way everything's thrown in, it's ready to go, and it's operational. And we're we're uploading as quick as we can. Okay. So, um, we have been contacted by uh, uh, Chief McKay for the Madison Police Department to go through duplication. Uh, they had a Freedom of Information Act request, and uh, I'm going back through the year 2014. Was the very first, which was the very first time we started covering police merit board meetings. Uh, they had a request, so we'll be going through duplication. Uh, Larry, Larry had an email in that about that, and I had it updated in our uh, list as well too. We're only going to charge them ten dollars, ten dollar fee for that it's about for the duplication. And it's, yeah, uh, it's just covering that instead. So, you know, yeah, because the city already kicks in a lot of money to okay. us anyway on things. So it gives them um, of somebody. Yeah, mm -hmm. but uh, I'll be, I'll be comp hopefully completing that up by the end of this week and getting that out to them. That way they're able to at least hear to their FOI, sorry. Um, but other than that, uh, everything's running very smoothly. Okay. So. Yeah. Thank you. I would say that we 
uh, in this situation um, make Aaron at least the interim station manager and we have to change that uh, full time and we'll kind of wait on that. Mm -hmm. um, I actually have, I can't find the one where he signed it, but I do have the station manager contract which was done January 1 of 2017. Yeah, and then I, if I remember correctly, there was a I, I contract could, that was done in 2018, 2019. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't okay. find that one and he has been charging, he's been putting in $1,700 a month, I think. Yeah, because he, he had it broken down. Which uh, was which is the 425 per week yeah. per month. Yeah. Just 22,100, uh, and this is actually would be uh, where now is my mind going blank here? <laughs> Too much stuff going on. Uh, he's an independent contractor right. in this, and so he gets a 1099 at the end of the year. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. it's the same aspect yeah. for our videographer. Right, mm -hmm. you're right. And, and 1099, which is run out through the, the clerk's office mm -hmm. on that one. Like to look at uh, <laughs> did I send you guys? Did I email you the the contract that I found? I that, like I said, this one's not I signed. It's it somewhere is. in the building. Yeah. It may be in the file downstairs. Uh, but that's what it was. Because if you if you look on. Uh, the funding, like I said, when they hand you'll see seventeen hundred dollars for January 6, twenty twenty, for Dennis Crank. So that would be uh, what normally is what four twenty five a week. Uh, <coughs> one one year runs into another year with me, but we have I have the whole thing here, and yeah, we can do that. Because you would have an adjusted pay scale if it comes into a five week month. Uh, yeah. He was actually paid up because uh, I think that rotated over. And uh, he was already paid for the month of uh, January, yeah. so yeah. Uh, which would have been January 6th for his disbursement. But he uh, made the filings for uh, the Board of Public Works are actually uh, previous date for January 31st. Sorry, uh, uh, December 31st is what he would have done the date on that. So yeah. So do we do we go ahead and do that and come up with uh, payments for Aaron since he's coming in and. Uh, running everything. <laughs> I would, one thing that I would probably at least have in there, um, in the event that we, Dennis does make it through everything and it comes back in, uh, probably the retention and everything back on the current title, which I have for videographer. That way there's a smooth transition. I go back into the position, everything that I was in. Um, one thing that I did notice that wasn't in his contract is when it comes to uh, the station manager covering meetings and all that stuff because we do only currently have two employees and if there's some type of addendum uh, or something within the, within any paperwork that I need to sign of uh, being able to at least still be that backup and everything for them to keep everything running smoothly because there is a lot of times uh, actually coming up uh, into this actually next week there's going to be a lot of overlap even even just within the next couple days we've got an overlap lap where it needs three camera people and as of way a lot of the way the hiring process has gone over the quite a, uh, last few years is that sometimes it's a little bit harder to find videographers and all that stuff and go through the training and everything on them we as well too. find some from the school I don't know yeah. I can talk to Shockley maybe because yeah. that's where his kids are that they actually do a YouTube thing YouTube thing every day mm -hmm. of school to this is what's going on in school today or whatever also, uh, yeah. do that. But over the course, if there's an amendment in there that still keeps me at least helping out along that, and that's one thing that was never listed in his contract is if he ever jumped in and everything mm -hmm. on that. Um, and also, I kind of worry about sometimes and everything, if they're, if, um, uh, don't quote me exact on it, but a uh, double dipping type of process and everything, and I don't want that happening on there. So, so anybody have a thought on uh, what we should do? Should we go ahead and uh, say make this the same contract and uh, make Aaron at, at the same dollar figure for right now until the interim base based on on say the the weekly 425 per week which will add up each week that you're you're here and uh, and also we can always put into this contract that what you were talking about where you're allowed to go you know and it's not a mm -hmm. uh, a thing there that we could do any thoughts uh, anybody that I think we need to um He's covering everything. <laughs> yes, yeah. 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 I tried to help you. Yeah. 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 I've been in, uh, in right. a lot of hours <laughs> over <laughs> last week. Well, it was, uh, and he's also I, doing the emotional covering, so I think it's yeah. pretty and, important uh, that we we and, have yeah. continuity. And it's, yeah, it's and do that. And then, 
and leave my it day, My days were starting close to about 8 to 8.30, and I've been here close to about 8 to 9 o'clock at night. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> well, we don't, well, we don't want you to get... <laughs> no, we don't bar down. Yeah. No, no, uh, no, no, no. I mean, I... Stretch, um, I take my time when I need to take my time. I know my paces, so... And, and certainly, um, I think as a board, we're responsible for looking at all the options, but right yeah. now with him so ill and we know he's not going to uh, be returning in yeah. near near future, um, we need to put some things in place. I, I, uh, yeah. person in and place. that's the yeah. thing too I'm going to be looking at, and of course I brought the uh, system up here, that way we there's a manual. Um, one thing I'm going to try to work with Larry on, I'll work with other board members if they want to be involved in it as well. Uh, I'm wanting to develop a uh, standard operating procedure. Um, in case the event and everything that he does not come back um, and uh, also just just for myself to make me a little bit more comfortable and I've spoke about to Dennis about this before about having some type of system in place okay. and uh, I would uh, at least a binder and everything that's held by the board that goes over every operating procedure that we have for the station right down from the equipment to the cameras operation that just might everything. prove rather useful <laughs> yeah we should have had that we should have had this a long time ago at least a fail safe and everything that, there that um, pretty, and I've spoken to Larry about this before and a couple other board members uh, possibly because um, I know that we have a couple of uh, uh, board members that are uh, kind of up for up on their time and everything on the, uh, on serving um, but having a rotation each time of a board member that comes down and actually trains with the station for a day come in and that's operate lovely. a camera and learn mm -hmm. I think so that's lovely. <laughs> um, the best the best way to run uh, to oversee a board for a television mm -hmm. station is actually getting into the station and actually learning what it does I know how to so, run a camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you're in front of the camera. But I, I do, I do make that recommendation that that does. We we do do that. So. So do you need a formal motion to? Yeah, and what exactly do we need to word it as? Because uh, this one right now says the term of this agreement shall begin on January 1, 2017. Shall continue until such time as either Dennis Crank or the Public Video Service Board of Jefferson County terminate the agreement with a minimum of two week notice. Uh, well, we're not terminating. We're not terminating it, it but we're making another one. So, assistant or acting uh, acting station. That's manager. what I. That's what the yeah. title has been think, going as. Yeah, I can just change it to active, and we can make it acting. Yeah. When do you want to uh, make it uh, effective? Immediately, uh, right? Last. A week, few days ago, or backtrack and, and and do that on a weekly basis. Because it was Monday when you sent out the email for uh, the board. I don't know if you're backtracking to that date in which you were. Yeah, can. I think we should. Can. Do, I mean, so that would be Monday because it was four thirty, four thirty-five p.m. when you sent out the last email. Monday. Yeah, this uh, last Monday, the, last week. A week ago. You sent it out at four thirty-five p.m. So. Would it be January something. That would yeah, be the twenty-seventh. Yeah, I 27. would think we can do it on a longer than a weekly. Oh basis. yeah. So it was, yeah, it's just on a weekly weekly basis. Well, I I think it's much more monthly at this point. Yeah, because I have. Um, um, I mean, not not the pay necessarily, but I'm just saying the active um, part should. If I could kind of make a recommendation, at least uh, the in, in case he does pull through on this, uh, to give it a give it enough time. What I would do, uh, similar to what you do for a rental lease on an, uh, an apartment, sometimes do it by six months and do a rotation on that. Mm -hmm. Do it at a half year and then rotate over at that point just in case he does return and then it just everything goes back the way it was previously okay. i didn't know whether to try to do it pay weekly which would be the 425 a week oh the, yeah the yeah. pay pay i thought pay. i was okay. talking we were about the length no, of the contract yes. okay. <laughs> no, I, mean, I would make the contract starting on a certain date but continue until such time okay as, as, yes. okay and then put that in there and then we'd have to get uh, let me see where did i put it here and this is something we'll do after a while. Uh, signatures, I'm assuming, would be the president of the board, and then probably Aaron's signature too. Mm -hmm. And then we could do that uh, and and take that, and then just sit there and wait and see what happens. That's why in a little yeah. bit when we talk about our uh, try to do the whole thing for the year, meeting dates, the whole nine yards. I'll get to that in a little bit. But uh, I can try to change all this. I mean, this is the one we, we used um, before and just change some of the wording. Mm -hmm. Do it so we can make that and then make them aware also 
over here in the clerk's office uh, to be watching for that. And that's the other thing too we, we've got to do is to be sending pretty soon uh, to the county for what their money is giving us. They actually got cut to $6,000, but the county council, we were getting eight and they cut it to six. And that's from Jefferson County? Jefferson okay. County, yes. So it's an attendance well, on that meeting. Yeah, so we could, uh, and they've done this before, is just send in to get the entire 6000 at one time from them. Mm -hmm. uh, City of Hanover, we can do it on the uh, monthly basis or whatever it is. I gotta go back and look at that uh, and what it was. And then the city, of course, is, we can do that like every, because it's $19,200. I'm right. I think that's it. Wasn't, wasn't that the number? Yeah. So. Uh, is certain times, of course, we get somewhere towards the end of the year, uh, we get the 6000 from Metronet. Yeah. And hopefully we'll get the Spectre thing. Again, I didn't get a chance to talk 19, to Joe or catch him down or track him down. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. He's been busy. And when I was going to was when his father passed Metronet. away and, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. things like that. So uh, do you think we should just do that then, change this, put him on? Yes. as the the Act interim or the acting acting acting, acting and give mm -hmm. and put it down as uh, uh four whatever it is i can't put my glasses on 425 per week yes and just do that yes right. sir and uh, excuse my naivete but is dennis's salary to continue on infinitum is there a point yeah that's yeah awesome. these are going to be double double mm -hmm. pay mm -hmm. and can we afford that yeah, no. Uh, we could we could go ahead and terminate it and make it clear that it, it does come back. We change it back the other way. I mean, we may have to do that for whatever purposes. I don't know what for sure. But, um, but yeah, because his pay is not going to pay for what his services are. Does he have insurance? No, no, not insurance. He's only on a temporary service right now. Yeah. And he's an independent contractor. Yes. So that's so he's liable was for his own. Yeah, yeah was that was part there, of there was a there was a discussion uh, close to about three years ago about the setup for our workers' comp system, but it kind of fell by the wayside, mm -hmm. and that was the closest to any type of insurance that was set up. Yeah. The station itself does have an insurance policy, but it's more towards equipment, equipment and sure. uh, yeah. anything that's off site or on site. Yeah, and everything else, like I said, we do independent contractors that way. You don't get into 4,000 things and have to have liars all over the place. And most of those are usually just our videographers that we have on that. So anybody have anything they want to say or make a motion on something or we can do that exactly the way I understand it is do the, the uh, acting one, put it in there. And then if we have to, if anybody thinks we really need to, go ahead and uh, put the thing on on Dennis uh, just temporarily. Uh, I'm just worried about, I mean, yeah. this is not the kind of thing no. we should be yeah. doing, no. kicking someone when they're down. Yeah. No. Um, if it doesn't make any difference, if he has no expenses, then it doesn't need the money, then yeah. it make, doesn't make sense to just throw the money away. But by the same token, you don't say to someone who's worked for you for 15 years, mm -hmm. oh, you can't come in this week, sorry. Yeah. That's just not good. Yeah, I would I would say because of some of the situations, I don't know what the, the law thing is too, and this is kind of a different part of this, is we took the $1,700 that you normally get for a month and put that over for attorney fees from, from the board. Uh, you know, as, as something to help out there. Again, this is a situation you just... We don't know. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm just trying to wait my way through it. Well, yeah. I'll, make yeah. a, I'll make a proposal myself. Um, I'd say uh, just keep me as an acting mm -hmm. uh, station manager uh, and uh, keep Dennis paid. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and... I'm, I'm, and Aaron, I'm, that's quite generous. I, but you also, yeah, we I don't know. want you to. Um, um, I'll make adjustments and everything within the schedule. That way, he's. That way, he still has a financial stability. Well, when we give him 
Now, any event that something right. goes another direction, then we could well, think we could approach it again. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I think we have some time to figure yeah. out. We've got a huge opportunity to get our money back from Spectrum. Hopefully, yes. And <laughs> we've got opportunities to write some grants for equipment. Mm -hmm. I think we treat both of our employees in this case correctly. Yeah. And we pay them both. I'm sorry. I agree. Excuse me. Totally, so, totally yeah. agree. Okay. So I would move that we continue with Dennis's contract. Mm -hmm. Create a contract. And cre create an acting station manager contract. And do we, give, do, we do the, the 425? Yes, absolutely. A week? Okay. He's putting absolutely. in the time. And He's we'll, see, the we'll see where we are on, on uh, we can reevaluate it yeah, in hopefully. another month. And the, the one concern there, too, with, uh, with Dennis is where does that check or whatever go because he lives at home and does it get into the bank does it get into and if uh, Dennis bank, usually had a check that physically that was physically written out to him because I would always have to pick those checks up for him so okay so that's how I always know that our spec and our uh, metro check checks checks. Where, where, so where, does that, where does that money yeah. go so it can be yeah. put yeah. away you know I think maybe we just hold it hold at in City Hall until <coughs> we know what is needed you know they can and of so. course, they do mail things out as well too. Yeah, because you don't want it to go because he's. I don't want it to go to his apartment if nobody's no. there. No, we exactly. could, I, I can. I can mention something to them tomorrow to possibly put any holds and everything on. So. Okay. So. Um, but I, I still want him to have some t some for as long as he. I mean, he to me he is still a station manager here. Mm -hmm. So I want him to still have that financial stability and everything that's there, and he's still under contract. And I. Yes. I feel comfortable adhering to it. Okay. I mean, I'll, I'll put in whatever type, uh, whatever times needed, and everything to keep things going. Because that's just how I am about things. Uh, to me, so most of the time, it's not about the money. So. You should still be compensated. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I know. Yeah. I, know. Yeah. I know. I know this is emotional for you. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. but no. it's it's emotional. But we I don't have think to. You yeah. should do that. I, I understand. Right. You carry on and everything else. Right. So. Yeah, and I don't know the answer, but I don't. My <laughs> my approach, my approach, the last 15 years, it's it's always been about the community service of it all. I mean, that's right. part of why we're all here and everything yeah. is on that. Yeah. Um, but I would so. move that we make him the acting station manager and um, use the same contract with a few. Um, and just have him in center and then put down the, uh, the same amount of money, the 425 Yes, and then the ability and to also you, run the camera. And if he doesn't want to, or you can give it back at some point in time if you want to, whatever That's you want to do. That's not part of the contract. Yeah. And we'll kind of watch what we have here. Again, I've been trying to think about this for days, and that's why I sent all of you as much information as I could, because, you know, this is not a situation I run into every day. Yeah. And no. any of us do. No. Aaron, your policy gives no relatives? No. Yeah. So they looked. They looked back through his uh, records, and of course, the the adoption side of things and all that stuff when he was a kid and everything. And uh, no, he does not have any relatives. One and thing you might think about if he's going to be in the hospital for a long period of time mm -hmm. or in rehab, as yeah. long as his bills are paid, if we can use his money to do it. That's what we're in the process with uh, current videographer uh, with our current videographer uh, Mike Scott. Uh, we're looking at the process and everything of a possible um, guardianship. That way, those pro uh, that those things are taken care of uh, to get idea. access and everything to it because that's one thing they've recommended by the uh, Norton Healthcare Legal Department and our Ethics Board. And uh, we're currently in the process of that. That way, his everything's taken care of. So, so. okay. Well. Uh, mm -hmm. You've made a motion, right? I have made that motion. Do I have a second on I'll that? second. Uh, any more discussion? Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, I will try to put that together. And if not, you can help me. <laughs> Sometimes I forget <laughs> stuff. It's the, My brain's not as much as it used to be once upon a time. Uh, I've had a lot of other things going on recently. Uh, where am I at? So we... I think we've handled the, the station manager thing and has been in here, as I said, a lot and has done uh, the work downstairs. I've been Thank down there a few times uh, to see what we've got and uh, where we are. Uh, okay, we can move on now, and this is one for, because this is our first meeting of the new year, is election of officers for 2020. We need to do that. So we need basically presidents, Vice President 
and the uh, secretary. So the floor is open. I would make a motion to retain Larry Henry as president of the second and board. Mm -hmm. Okay, Are any other? Is called railroading? Are there term limits? <laughs> well, uh, you're you're in for is, uh, is it a three year three year term three year term. Three -year term. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, mine's I think I've been to this coming this year. Okay. So uh, you should finish out this year as president. Uh, I, I, think that makes sense. Sense. I think that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, and uh, is there any other nominations or for president? All those in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> those yes. Right now, with all that's going on, I think well, it would be really helpful well, if yeah. you would stay on. Yeah. Okay, next up would be Vice President. Uh, to, uh, to, I would do. I would put Tawana there because she does have a TV background. But I know you're very, 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 uh, very, 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 yeah. very busy. Well, about to get new board members. Yes, yeah, so I got a phone call today. Boys. Yes, oh. and. Um, I, I just don't know that I could completely devote yeah. the, the time and attention. Yeah. Um, and this is going to be a big year for, for Channel 15. I'm here yeah. to support it, but certainly that's going to take a lot of extra time yeah. out of the office yeah. to address some of this. Next year, 2021. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd put Kenny in here. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm okay with that. I would love that. Oh. How about Kenny here Kenny. for Vice President? Vice President. I'll make that motion. Okay. Second. Okay. <laughs> Any other? Okay. And now Secretary, so I don't have to. The one good thing about us being on TV 15 we do have is when you do the minutes, you can get a DVD <laughs> and check it. You can actually That's go true. online That's true. and check the video because all the videos are going up online. I worked hard to get you guys online. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so you can go up there and that's yeah, what I did when I was putting the, putting this one together. Well, so, I nominate Peter Woodburn Peter. for secretary, secretary because he made great fun of my book <laughs> <laughs> and is very organized. So I paid some bills to do it. No, that's not, <laughs> he's not kidding. <laughs> Are there any other nominations here? You don't mind, do you? Yes. you can write. Secretary would be fine, yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, anybody else? Is there a second on that, I guess? I'll second that. Uh, Anybody else? Discussion or anything? <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, Peter, you're in, uh, you're the, the secretary. Welcome aboard, Peter. Yeah. Okay. Oh, now, what have I got next? Uh, dates for our meetings. Date set for board meetings. Mm. Okay. Who, who's the treasurer? Do we have? Oh, do we need yeah. a treasurer? Or, is it, or do we combine secretary and treasurer? That's. Let's combine that. You could. Well, like I said, I'm just getting the stuff basically out of the clerk's office. They have all the sheet with everything, at, you know, from month to month. And so we can see, and all of our all of our claims goes through the Board of Works. Oh, okay. That's what it says. It has to be approved by them. It goes through. I would not want to be treasurer. Right. Oh, that's like no, I just come in. Yeah, I just come in and get those. And also, we have, we allow our person in charge, station manager, to go ahead and get what they need because we're not meeting every day. And that's that's what a lot of them do. I mean, the city yeah. does the same thing. They'll spend the money and then they'll get the claims approved later on. And it's just kind of the way it goes in the world. Uh, so we can do that. The dates for 2020, and because of where we, we stand right now, I thought about adding, uh, let's see, we're in February, aren't we? Mm -hmm. To add possibly March 16th, which is only a month away, so we could come back. What day of the week is this? That's a that would be a Monday. These are all Mondays. These are all Mondays. Great. I think they're all Mondays. Yeah, March sixteenth is. I tried. To, I tried to look at the calendar. I'm not as good as I used to be. Uh, would be March sixteenth, and then one in May after the uh, April meeting, which the April meeting would be April twentieth. Uh, normally at six thirty p.m., we would have one in May eighteenth, following the April one. And let's see. Uh, da, da, da. <coughs> April 20th, 2020, 6.30. June 15th at 6.30. August 17th at 6.30. October 19th at 6.30. And December 21st at 6.30 p.m. December 21st. Uh, 
Oh my gosh. They have the meeting in the other room that we're okay. That's like what we did in December. But again, the, the other two outside of those, again, would be April 20th. Will be March 16th would be the next one. April 20th, May, May 18th, right. June 15th, August 17th, October 19th, December 21st. And I, like I said, I just put those other two in there. We can always cancel those out if we need to. Yeah. But I'm, I'm assuming we'll, we'll have to come back and meet with I the, the so. situation yes, that we're I here. Think that makes a lot of sense. And, mm -hmm. and put it there. So how, often, how often have you normally been? Every meeting? other month. Every We've month. been going every other month because there wasn't a lot of once we got things handled uh, to do. It's a wise uh, decision what you're doing. Yeah. You know, is, is try to do that and put those two in there for right now. And if we have to have another one, all I have to do is have a 48 hour advance to yeah. have them right. put up one here. Right. I think that uh, in the building where we're located to make sure that's there. So, is that okay with you? Do I have a motion mm -hmm. to approve those from anybody? So moved. Second. Do I have a second? Any discussion on that? Does that work for everybody? And I will send that to you. Mm -hmm. I will email it to you so you have those dates. And these are all at 630, correct? At 630. Okay. We could move our, what happens in the summer, it's like Kenny here is the, he's the tennis coach at Southwestern, mm -hmm. right? You're still, yeah. they haven't got rid of Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, you know, and people getting in and stuff, and I know tuana has got festivals on the verge and stuff, and <laughs> trying to get her in here uh, to have everybody available. <coughs> so, we kind of do that. Okay, what's the next one? Oh, uh, approval of the minutes from the previous meeting. Uh, I think I passed those out to everybody who was here at the last meeting. It's the best I could do. I would just, um, Correct the spelling of um, Peggy Blair Bomb's name. It's, okay. it, it's an L instead of an I. But yeah. other Put than that, everything. Nice <laughs> uh, I'm too many. I killed too many trees. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I can change Peggy's. Yeah. It almost looks the right, but. Okay. I can I can change that. So with the, with the change, uh, is this proof? You approved it? I move that we you move? Do change I that and then approve it. Okay, do I have a second? So moved. Uh, anybody else? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. <laughs> we talked about some of the claims. I showed them to you what we've, we've spent mm -hmm. currently uh, in this, and then there'll be some more. There was, what, 300 and some dollars for the fixing of the unit we just got in, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, which isn't bad. Which is a very low cost for a repair. Yeah, uh, for the repair of that. And you fixed one of the cameras, right? Yeah, you we're back to three cameras now. Fixed one of the cameras that we had. So that's good. We're having a buzzing issue and everything, and I made yeah. a correction to it and everything. So and it's, as far as old Spectrum. business time order, uh, which is now Spectrum, <laughs> uh, I didn't get a chance to talk to Joe. Maybe, maybe you can't catch up with him. I'm running back and forth to Louisville. Okay. My, wife had surgery a couple of weeks ago and like today we had to go see the doctor so we're there 15 minutes oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> if we want to set a meeting right. or something like and, and, and yeah. do that uh, so what was i here uh hopefully we get that again that's the possibility of getting six thousand dollars going all the way back to 2008 Gosh, mm -hmm. this is such uh, a it's, crazy it's process. Racking. It's it's getting higher and higher get every time. So. Uh, from Thank everything you. I saw, again, Larry, Spectrum okay. or Larry. Charter Communications is a really, really, really big company. Larry, <laughs> Joe, hmm? she doesn't understand what you're talking about. Oh. I need to make yeah, right, well, the board. Yeah. 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 What happens is they have the cable companies are are like they get. Uh, why can't I think here today? Franchises. They, franchise. they get franchises. Mm -hmm. So around 2008. The state took over giving out the franchises instead of the cities and the counties and all. When they did, now things changed some. They went, were going there and getting them down a little easier. But it says in all uh, the Indiana codes and everything that's with it, if they had started something years before, then they still paid the $6,000 every month or, mm -hmm. or every year that's to, in yeah, to uh, the PEG channel. They had to support the PEG channel. And Time Warner suddenly disappeared in 2008 from doing it. In fact, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here with the board back then <coughs> was talking to the IURC, the Indiana, uh, was it? It's, uh, no, I can't remember. 
That's all right. That's all right. I know where their offices are. It's in a nice hotel building right across from the state <laughs> legislature. Uh, but uh, they didn't do much of anything at that time. And so I, if we can get that money back, mm -hmm. even if we got it paraded back, I mean, time right. orders should get hit for it, but they're no longer the owners since right. Charter took over. But they haven't been paying it either. No, so. they haven't been no. paying it since. But so Metronet, Metronet had it in yes. their deal when they came on yes. board. It was in theirs. Okay. And, and it's a big enough amount now, 6000 a year to, for, yeah. for yeah, at yeah, least yeah. 10 yeah. years. Yeah. So yeah. the city attorney is um, yeah. interested yeah. and yeah. has been reviewed all the documents yeah. that Larry he was, provided. He was going to write a letter to him and see what. Yes. Not having, and of course, joke because when his father died about right. that same time. So, I will, and so. Um, I'll follow up with Joe yeah. and, and uh, remind him. Yeah. So, so that's, oh. that's been where we are with years. Years. Yeah. yeah, It's, it's been a long, years. drawn out yeah. process. Yeah. It's been a long but they owe us the money and it's yeah. in black and white. They actually we ought to get it. After <laughs> back in 20, I wouldn't give up either. No, no. <laughs> Pretty big. Wow. Because I remember when Bob and them had the issue and I remember. Yeah. It was about four minutes. Yeah. It was it was he wasn't happy. And there was, <laughs> what was his, his last name started I V something. <coughs> he right. was on the board at the time. Yeah. Oh. Which was way back before my time. Wow. But that's again, any other business or things we need to do? Have we covered everything you think we should uh, tonight? I think we've. I think the main thing is tried to is handle the situation as best we can. Mm -hmm. And we just have to cross our fingers mm -hmm. and hope for the best. Mm -hmm. And uh, you just never know. Suddenly, yeah, it's fine. You know, you just you never know. And we hope that. Uh, I'm glad everybody's here tonight. And uh, yeah, welcome, our yes, new member. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. We're always glad to have somebody on board. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. We like good We're always looking for more friends <laughs> so. as much as we can. But I, I appreciate everyone's uh, helping out. And I appreciate Aaron doing all the work he's doing. It's I know he's been really really taking, taking the son to, to school every morning, walking him down mm -hmm. to Lydia Middleton. Mm -hmm. We kind of pass in the shade because my grandson goes there too mm -hmm. for yeah. kindergarten. So. Yeah, my second son turns uh, one month old tomorrow. Yeah, so that's right. Yeah. They, have new, they have a new baby in the family. Yeah. So I really appreciate him doing everything. Like I said, I'll try to help whenever I can. And if you show and, me how I can. I, appreciate <laughs> I know how to use my video and editing and stuff, but I'm not sure about yours. City, mm -hmm. The city's been really supportive throughout it all. The mayor's office, they've all been yeah, They've all been great. a big help. I'm um, really appreciative of their help. So, so. okay, everybody's got. Uh, like I said, I'll send the uh, the dates of uh, the meetings, and the next one would be March 16th. Okay. Is that what I put down? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I never know about myself. I have to no, check. Right. March right. March 16th, and that would be at uh, 6:30 p.m. right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that everybody happy as can be now? Or? Yeah. And I'm going to try and reduce the amount of, because uh, I'll, I'll, I know it'll probably be a little hairy having emails every day. I was just trying to do that to give you guys an update on day to day sure. uh, the beginning here to let you know. Me, I I'm, I'm going to try and no, reduce it to it. about a week or so. That yeah. way you know what's going on throughout the week instead of having something every single yeah, day. Right. Uh, Dennis was more once a month or once every couple months when you met and everything. I, yeah, I like to keep up on things. So <laughs> let's, let's, let's hope he turns the corner yeah. and make some bad things do happen from time to time. So do you have my email? No. No, okay. we're no we're we'll, we'll get all of it updated and everything. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're but our main that. email address, if you want to send anything uh, to the main, to the station, it's info at madisontv15.com. No, it's not. No, it's what But my email address and phone number should be on one of the, uh, yeah. uh, the I have at the bottom, yeah, so you're you more than welcome to contact me yeah. anytime. Mm -hmm. But any information, you're more than welcome to send it to the uh, station email address as well, too. Okay. Um, and you can I check it. I check it close to about four to five times a day. So. And it's what Madison TV fifteen info, info at Madison TV. No, I meant the, the website. So if you want to. Uh, yes, Madison TV fifteen dot com. And uh, when it, it first pops it, up on the rest. Yeah, and you so. can also go down through that and click on any all of our stuff that we put away. It actually yeah. stirred away, so you can watch it. Watch it. 
Yeah, when we did the update, we updated and went digital back in 2014. I went in and redid the website and everything, which we have a great looking <coughs> website. Yeah. Uh, we uh, go through a third party system called Vimeo.com, so it allows you to, we get, we we're able to track analytics of all our meetings, uh, and also it makes it for faster uploads and the easier video hosting, and uh, gives the public access to download. Because before we always had to uh, make copies of DVDs, we still get people to come in for copies of yeah. DVDs and everything, and we still retain a physical copy of everything. We've got we've got meetings going back years. Uh, we've got yeah. old VHS that are upstairs. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so okay. Well, Mr. Chair, I have a question. Uh, yes, sir. In my new exalted position as secretary, I didn't take any notes. <laughs> Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, didn't, I didn't have any notes last night. It was, it was halfway through. Is it, you know, can I somehow view the yeah. yes. video yes. and yeah. make those so right I'll, I'll have this. You, just go, you go to our website and it automatically connects you. So it's going to be under the City of Madison tab when you go down. They're highlighted in blue. The only thing you do is click on that. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> just it directly <laughs> connects Come down to my it. office and uh, show me yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. You, you can even download it and save it if you want to. Yeah, you can retain those. And if you want we a physical you. copy, we'll get you a we physical you. copy as well, too. So. It, it's, it's, yeah. it's a We've good all way got to do your it. Email. Yeah, I know the county commission does have it set up where theirs, at, I think, automatically comes it, up. Uh, what they do is uh, when they do their minutes, uh, Cindy Madison's in the process of doing it now. Uh, when uh, And I made a recommendation to Sarah, and they started doing it. And I, it, it took a little while for them to do it, but they finally updated it when they updated the county website. So when they do their minutes and their agenda, they'll have two tabs listed right next to each other. Then they have a video tab, and people can click on a video go straight to us and they're able to see everything along with having the minutes and all documentation oh, yeah. right next to each meeting. Oh, that's very cool. So, yeah, and very especially cool. with the jail situation it's, there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are checking mm -hmm. their emails going with the yeah. bitch mm -hmm. mile buffer. <laughs> yeah, so lots Which of excitement. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, Any anything else? Would you okay. like me to just send everybody a, an email as to what all we do for you all? So that, that it's going to take a while if I read all of this. <laughs> yeah, I, I may mention Larry a few times. Uh, just so I know any agreements that uh, Dennis had in place, like uh, any paperwork and all that stuff. We're, I know we've been trying to look through some of the uh, uh, filing cabinets down there and everything, but uh, I, it would to help me a little bit and everything. I'll need to know what agreements are in oh, place and everything with any outside yeah. stuff. That way I know who's communicating where. I've had a few emails where I've spoken to a couple organizations where we'd had some agreement for pro programming and I've already mm -hmm. I've already updated them a little bit on what's going on and everything else. So. And then Larry and Kenny uh, can verify what I send you because Larry says as much content as possible. And yeah, because we, we had a discussion over uh, ind individual programming forms and different things like that and if we have an actual written agreement that's in place rather than a verbal because uh, you'll you'll we'll need an actual yeah, so, yeah, the actual paperwork on it. Yeah. Indeed, what, the state of Indiana, you yeah. can't have a verbal contract. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, so. we have. I think we do have the I think we do have hers in that so. black file cabinet. Okay. 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 It's, it's, it's also on video. There were several of them. You've also got it on video. There, no, <laughs> there were several of them. <laughs> I would hope so. Do we, the couriers here also, do we have yeah. anything with WKM? No. It was quick. Should we? I mean, no. we no. shouldn't no. have anything with it? I don't okay. think so. They're, they're, okay. they're their own business. Well, yeah. so it's Kentucky and the News. <laughs> Yeah, well, there's. I mean, they're both news organizations. It's, right if there. something comes to that point, then it'll go back to an individual, probably individual program base on stuff like that because you'll have two intersecting news organizations coming in, so you'd have individual Contract. contracts. Okay. Now, we have a specific form that's online, and we have a physical form that's downstairs that. Uh, producers or uh, individuals come in and any program they want to submit and then they pay a small fee and that's actually in our policies uh, uh, for programming, of course, it's up, up to the station, uh, station manager's whole discretion that's of what actually goes on there. So, uh, if there's anything in there of call to actions, which that's the problem we've had before previously under different ownership of WKM, is that we had a call to actions that were on there and hidden, okay. hidden political. Yeah. Aspirations. So, well, so. But now it's just part of the career, yeah. right? Yes. Okay. But yeah, I would say you know because that's their. In yeah, the I'd, business. I'd love to have a copy of that. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. just so we have an update on everything, yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I'll try to get yeah. information are, from. Yeah. Uh, are there any other outstanding things that we don't know about with Dennis? I mean, that like. 
Well, you're going to make sure that every obligation is met. You've probably yes. been yeah. that. Okay. So, so, all those uh, yeah, there's a, there's a couple, yes, uh, like I may know. mention of a, yeah. uh, uh, the uh, uh, Peg Channel up in uh, Ohio, up towards uh, Columbus. Uh, they submit uh, one, one spot of programming to us at least uh, once, or, once or twice a month called More Movies. I hunted down that. Uh, I was in the process, and this was through the National Association of Peg. So they're just sending content to us. We, they don't, that's, yeah. Uh, there's really no fee that's associated with that since they're another peg channel. But like so. you said, now would be a good time to get our yeah, look at standing all operating, that operating, yeah, operating procedures written down. And you have access to Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. um, Northern Kentucky is really yes. very good. Steve too. Sorbet runs the TV channel there for the peg channel for that city. He's amazing. You can call him, ask him any questions you want about a peg channel, about the regional board. He's on the regional board. So he's he's my go-to I mean he's wonderful yeah. so if you give him a call he'll explain anything you need to know or or tell you about an upcoming meeting for the regional peg channel boards yeah, so. yeah which Dennis and I both are uh, members of the Indiana Association of Pegs so. as well too yeah yeah there's that's two different We've, ones the Indiana yeah. Association yeah. and the regional yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, also I do with stuff and anything on the National Association yeah. as well too so yeah. uh, there's a lot of great programming on that too yeah. as well uh, they allow you to download even communicate back and forth and there's a good there's a good amount of communication on the National Association of Peg and all that stuff and that's how I that's how I was able to track down Cable 9 up in Columbus, Ohio. Columbus. There, so uh, everything from cooking shows to and that's that's kind of what I want is to add on some cooking shows and different things like that. So, uh, at least well, programming that we necessarily don't have to produce ourselves that comes from outside the community sure. and it shows other communities as well too. So, yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. So now is a good time to just review all that okay. stuff. Yeah. So. yeah we we'll got okay. handled some time here. So. Yeah. All right. Do you want a motion to adjourn? A anything else? Yes. Is there a motion to adjourn? <laughs> so move. Second. Second. Mm -hmm. All those favor? Aye. Okay, again, thank you very much tonight. Thank you. Uh, no, thank you. Thanks, thanks for everything you're doing. So.